Hello, everybody. Thank you so much to Marco Grazzini for joining us today, the actor who plays Mike Venezuela on Virgin River, the Netflix series. Thank you so much again. Thanks, Chiara. Hi, everybody. Ciao a tutti. And it's uh, it's Mike Valenzuela, not uh, Venezuela. Valenzuela. Although the running the my joke fault. on set totally my fault. <laughs> the joke on set is Venezuela, so you're probably making a joke, <laughs> which is starting off on a on a good track because I like comedy. Great. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Marco, tell us a bit. What's the main element in in Mike's character and the show in general that fascinates you the most and, and drew you to join Virgin River? Um, well, as I as I just mentioned, um, I'm a big fan of comedy. I'm I'm really drawn to it, and I, I look for it in every script and appreciate it when I'm watching it as a as an audience member. Um, I love to laugh. I like to make other people laugh in, in real life or uh, on the job. And I know that most of the time, you know, Mike is preoccupied uh, with all of his police work. It is you know it's his job, um, but Mike does have a, a great sense of humor, as does Virgin River. Um, and obviously, most people connect with the show as a drama, as a romance. Um, but there's definitely a, a, some, you know, fantastic moments of, of comedy and of humor. And to, in my opinion, that makes the, the drama and romance even better. It, it just, you know, primes you for it. So that's what I... Um, That, that first attracted to me it was like okay this guy's a serious guy and he's about business but like there's there's a there's an element of of humor there so i appreciate that yes absolutely and yeah. the fact as you mentioned the fact that there are so many layers in all this character on virgin on virgin river mm -hmm. is something that clearly the audience fell in love with so And Mike is a character, as we know, that joined, um, joined the storyline little by little, let's say. And we started knowing him better in season three, don't we? Mm -hmm. And yeah, what's the biggest sure. challenge for you in, in portraying Mike? Um, the biggest challenge is uh, the beard. <laughs> uh, it gets really itchy, especially after shooting for like four or five months. Uh, no, jokes aside, um, I think um, it, it, it's, a, it's a challenge of finding the harmony with um, what, what, what Mike is there to do, which is his job, which is to, you know, uphold uh, justice um, and his duties as a police officer with his personal relationships um, of his, his friends in, in Virgin River, you know? Um, he's, he's got a bond with Brady and with um, Jack from having served in the war. And now that Mike is involved in the, these investigations in Virgin River, you know, his, that's his main responsibility uh, to make sure that justice is served. So it, that's a hard balancing act, you know, like sort of putting aside his personal likes and dislikes with these people for you know what he's there to do what his job is um so i'm as an actor whenever i'm playing mike i'm always sort of you know aware of trying to balance and play both of those things you know yes and over the course of the three seasons of the show um in particular in the the, the events of the season three finale Uh, that seems that Mike will have a pretty key role in season four with the resolution mm -hmm. of, um, of the mystery around Jack's uh, shooting. So what can you tease about Mike's storyline on season four? Well, uh, season four, we're definitely getting deeper into the mystery of what happened that night that Jack got shot. Um, and, you know, now that the, the, the trailer for season four is out, You know, Jack is, is, you know, changing his story and saying that it wasn't Brady. And as much as, you know, Mike has a previous history of problems with Brady uh, and he wants to help Jack out and he wants to, you know, maybe be with Bree, he has to honor this commitment to justice again. Um, now, along the way in season four, Mike starts discovering other mysteries 
in Virgin River. And at some point he realizes that there's a bigger puzzle, you know, that the yes. puzzle pieces that fit together and that everything isn't as it seems. So, um, yeah, it gets a lot more complicated for Mike. That would be really interesting to, mm. to see all the, the, the great puzzle unsolved. <laughs> for sure, yeah. And as you said, uh, Mike's friendship with Jack also faced some ups and downs like any relationship and friendship does. And what's next for them in season four? And how is it like for you to, to build this relationship with Martin Henderson, who plays Jack? Um, well, I've been very lucky that Martin was the the first um, person that I acted opposite of on the show. Uh, he's been a gift since day one. <laughs> I know it sounds corny, but honestly, I've, I've learned a lot from him. Uh, he's very funny. He's always cracking jokes. Um, and as an actor, he's he's got such great internal life that you can see it's just happening behind his eyes he's so he's so subtle he can explode at the snap of a hat he scares me sometimes i'm like because you know he's doing he's always doing the uh the emotional romantic stuff which he's phenomenal at and then he has a scene with with me or with brady and I, I, he gets really you know excited about that and uh it won't be in the script but like you know he'll he'll kick something on set he won't kick me but he'll like kick a box you know it's like Oh, Jack's angry, right? Um, and uh, it's just such great energy to 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 be a part of and to watch and to learn from. Um, he's always really gracious and generous as a as a fellow actor and a scene. Um, so I'm definitely I've definitely stolen some techniques from Martin Henderson, and uh, I mean he has a really cool New Zealand accent as well. So that's fun to listen to when he's offset. Uh, as far as what is up for this season between the two, now Jack thinks that Brady didn't shoot him. So, I mean, Mike definitely has to, you know, weigh Jack's words against the evidence that already exists. And if it was anybody else, I don't know if Mike would listen, but it's Jack. Um you know, so I, I have to, he's like my brother, you know, but Jack's memory isn't too reliable. And sometimes he drinks a little bit. So <laughs> I don't know, but it's Jack. I have to, he's, you know, it's Jack. And, I have to. Yes. And we know that Jack is very determined when he has something in mind. So it was, it will surely uh, like follow Mike in his investigations and, and try to, to solve the mystery yeah. even, even before him. <laughs> Yeah, Mike definitely has to remind a lot of people uh, in Virgin River that he's the cop. Relax. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> he will handle it. But uh, yeah, Jack, uh, Jack has a good eye sometimes yes. to solving stuff. Yeah. And another character with whom Mike intera interacts a lot in the show is, mm. um, is Brady as we mentioned, and what's next for, for them? They had um, a really tough moment in season in the season three finale. So mm -hmm. it will be really interesting to explore the relationship and what's next for them in season four. Well, um, uh, funny enough, Benny, Ben, Benny, uh, Ben. Uh, oh, I might call him Benny from now on. Maybe a lot of people <laughs> like that, but <laughs> uh, Ben and I go back maybe about, 15 years um and we're both uh born on this we have the same birthday oh, so he's that's nice he's perfect just like me um we're virgos obviously by my response uh now we we have a lot of fun um together there's there's a lot of old tension and and new friction between mike and brady and so when we do get to play in those scenes, whether it's a physical or a verbal confrontation, there's a sort of a, a palpable energy in the room that we both really enjoy playing with. And um, as far as what's next, um, I don't know, hopefully, hopefully Brady stays in prison and and, uh, and Bree and Mike live happily ever after. And uh, <laughs> we can go and visit Brady in jail. And, I don't know, bring him a slice of pizza. Yeah. Yeah. That. And on this last note, some fans 
uh, are speculating about the fact that Mike might be asking Brie to to date and go out while Brady is out of the way. How would you reply to that to, to this theory? Is Brady out of the way? I don't know. I feel like he's he's always he's always going to be in the way. I mean, how how could you? How could he not? The beautiful blue eyes. Um, well, I think Mike for sure is you know still going to be very much captivated by Brie. I mean, she's beautiful. She's intelligent. She's funny. Mike likes funny. Um, also, uh, Jack definitely likes Mike a lot better than he likes Brady. Um, and um also brie is an attorney and so they definitely sh mike and brie share this commitment to you know finding justice and she would understand sort of the crazy life of, of being uh a cop uh you know it could get lonely doing cop stuff and just going fishing in virgin river so i think mike mike and brie would be a, a good match yeah, that would be interesting. So I, think we'll see, well, I think we'll be seeing more of them for sure. Yeah. Great. That's great to hear. And so now, considering you're so fluent in, in talking in Italian, we wanted to test you a little with a few questions in Italian. Are you, Are you ready? ready? <laughs> È la prima volta. Se non sono pronto ora, sarà l'ultima volta in italiano. Andrà alla grande. <laughs> No, no, sono, sono veramente emozionato, è una bella opportunità di, di, uh, di parlare dello show in italiano, dunque grazie per questo. I fan ne saranno molto contenti. Mm -hmm. <ride> allora, descrivi la stagione 4 di Virgin River con tre parole. Eh, ok, um, scandaloso, commovente. E... Abuf... come si dice uh, binge, binge worthy Abuf... abbuffabile um, l'ho vista va... qualche volta vale, eh? la, vale la pena guardarli tutti di fila non c'è una parola che traduce non c'è una parola va... al, bu... al... al buffet abbuffabile io l'avevo sì. trovato ma qualcosa del genere è una parola un po' buffa <ride> sì. Sì. E comunque va benissimo se potessi scegliere un altro personaggio in Virgin River che ti piacerebbe interpretare, quale sarebbe? Um, io sceglierei Hope, uh, veramente la adoro, è un personaggio così divertente, pieno di, di spirito e sarcasmo, non si sa mai cosa, cosa, cosa dirà, insomma, le, dunque, un ruolo così sarebbe... Un... Eh, fantastico per me. Yeah. Benissimo. Qual è stata invece la scena più divertente da girare nella serie? Eh, per me ehm, ricordo sempre quelle scene della seconda stagione ehm, in cui abbiamo incontrato per la prima volta Mike e poi gli amici di, uh, di, di Jack e le, 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 con le bici e il rafting, questi paesaggi veramente mozzafiato, um, mi sembrava di essere in, in vacanza con gli amici, non al lavoro. E... Ero veramente stravolta, e... E ci mancava solo qualche birra, era <ride> perfetto. Yeah. Great, you passed the test. That's what, okay. that's, that was awesome. <ride> awesome, awesome, that's exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Next so, time, next time for next season, we, sh we should do the whole interview in Italian. Yeah, that will be a challenge. Yeah. So throwing back instead to the origins of, of your acting career, mm -hmm. uh, how did the passion for acting come about in your life? <laughs> um, when I was 20, uh, or in my early 20s, I, uh, I was doing some uh, commercial uh, work in Asia, in the Philippines. Um, my mom's Filipino. And I had never had any sort of passion for anything growing up other than uh, sports, basketball, uh, soccer, and wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm a horrible athlete. So finally, when I was doing this commercial and we were in the middle of a desert, we were in a hot car all day from sunrise to sunset. 
and I loved it. I, it was I never felt a connection to anything, um, you know, as as far as work before, and and I really something really hit me as far as wanting to get better at this and and uh you know it it not really mattering how much time i was there so i'm very grateful that i i've found that and that i continue to have that passion yes and among all the other roles you 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 had the chance to play is there any role in particular that you're fond of um, well, I just I just finished one uh, last month. It's a Christmas movie. However, there's a twist. Um, and so it's a it's it's a show within a show. So it's like a it's a it's a TV show within the movie. So there's a lot of layers to that. It's there's a lot of comedy in that one as well. Um, and it was very challenging to do, but very rewarding. Uh, so that's coming out this uh, this Christmas. I'll let you guys know on my uh, social media, and then uh, I'll pick another one. Um, I did uh, I did a role on uh, the show Heroes Reborn, um, where I was playing uh, sort of a superhero character, and I got got to wear you know a mask with the boots and the cape and everything, and that uh, you know like I think every sort of actor has that on their on their list of things that they'd enjoy doing. Um, so that was a lot of fun as well. Yes, I can imagine that. Yeah. And instead, one is there any particular role that you recall from the others you played that helped you grow as an actor? Help me grow as an actor. Um, I mean, they, I, I can't, I can't pick one or, or the other that I think they all you know contribute um in in some way shape or form um yeah they they they, they all really contribute I, I can't pick one yeah <laughs> yeah and our last question if mm -hmm. you had to give some advice to people among our readers that want to pursue an acting career which kind of advice would you give them um i would say i would say make sure that you love it make sure that you know you love it with all of yourself you know the thing about show business um is the business part of it can be stressful depressing anxiety inducing uh, all of these horrible things but you know, if you truly love the the craft and the art of it, um, that will always sort of, you know, guide you through your your career, the, the ups and downs of your career. And I think that goes with any career in the arts, whether you're, you know, a musician, a singer, a painter, um, truly having, you know, a, a, a love for that art um, is always going to you know bring you through the the hard times and also it's going to show in your in your in your craft like that you you truly love this thing that you do and um whoever's watching it um is going to identify that it's going to see it yes that's really beautiful answer i think that people will really appreciate it and it would be really helpful for for those people who are trying to 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 get into this career yeah i hope so oh and also get a lot of instagram followers because uh <laughs> that that's can, also that can help sometimes <laughs> yeah so <laughs> love love the art and then uh yeah uh go on instagram a lot and get a lot of followers <laughs> uh, half joking yes yeah. yeah and that's all for us thank you so much marco for uh, for being with us it's been a pleasure for me to to chat with you uh, Kiara, thanks so much uh, to you and to survive the shows. Uh, you know, I, uh, this was really a great uh, opportunity to talk about Virgin River. And mi sono divertito molto. Un grande abbraccio a tutti i fans uh, di Virgin River in Italia. Grazie. Grazie a te. And ricordiamo, let's remind people that Virgin River Season 4 is coming out next July 20th. July 20th. 20 di luglio, <laughs> uh, settimana prossima.
Yes, we're looking yeah. forward to see more of Mike's adventures on Mirjan River and all the other characters as well. <laughs> Absolutely, can't wait. Thank you so much. Thanks, Bye. Ciao. Bye.